Hey, today I'm going to be talking about masculine and feminine numbers because numbers actually have gender that you can associate with them, which is pretty magical. This is actually something that I um, discovered recently. I kind of observed. Um, I was watching a, a documentary and they were talking about masculinity and femininity and they were saying, like, um, what is it they said? They said... Um, it was about sacred geometry, and they were like shapes that are very straight and have straight lines and stuff that are masculine, and curvy shapes are more feminine. And if you look at like the masculine form, we're more straight, right? And women are more curvy. Um, so it kind of makes sense that um, these different kind of uh, things, which we, we relate to um, shapes being masculine or feminine, because in a lot of places around the world, every word has a uh, an association. I mean, in England, we could we could associate it as well. You know, like in America, everywhere you could associate. Everything has like a form. You know, a masculine form or a feminine form or a combination of the two. So that made me think of the um, Fibonacci sequence, and I kind of sat there and I was like, hmm, this Fibonacci sequence is spirally. So the Fibonacci sequence as a sequence is is very feminine, whereas the um, more bi binary code like one. 2, 4, 8, 16, which is like just doubling, 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 like it kind of creates like very boxed in kind of shapes, you know, with straight lines and all that kind of stuff, and uh, that is a more masculine sequence. So that made me think, okay, what are the numbers? What, how can we, uh, can we um, give the gender to numbers? And I'm sure there's other people who have done this in the past, but this is my interpretation of, of the gender within numbers. So we'll start with zero. I think of zero as like the most feminine number that there is because it's just kind of like a, a, a circle you know and it's like the infinite cycle of femininity um it could it's zero actually before i made this association i always associated zero with birth um rebirth and life cycles you know which is the female um aspect you know it's like that's that's what, what female they give birth they have different cycles from men and all that kind of stuff you know um so that's that's what what I've, i see zero is like the most feminine number uh one is masculine um because if you look at it it's just a straight line right and i would say it's the most masculine of all the numbers um so Not sure where that come from. Um, but we have two, which is a, a merging of the of the masculine and the feminine. Because you see the curve on the two, right, and then it has the line on the bottom. So it's like two is like masculine and feminine, and that makes sense because you, I always associate two with like the coming together of two people, um, and like you know coming together in love. Um, if you look at three, three is very feminine in nature, and again, three represents family, so it's kind of like represents birth, not on the same level as zero, but like it's a similar kind of uh, um, thing, you know, like coming together in very, very, it's like a caregiver, you know, it's a very female orientated kind of uh, way of being, you know. Um, four, four's a weird one, it's really, really weird, but uh, is. Because four is masculine in shape, right? It's like four, um, but four, to my understanding, represents earth, um, and it's like Mother Earth, right? So the same just come to me actually. This is pretty. Maybe this could be right. So four has three lines, you know, down, 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 right? So it could be represented as three, three lines. So the three is feminine. So maybe there's some kind of code within the the shaping of four. I don't really know. But nothing makes sense, and this is what we've got to remember. Like life is, it, there's these weird paradoxical things that make no sense, and I suppose four maybe is one of them things that probably does make sense if you look at it from a certain angle. But yeah, four is earth, but very masculine in in shape. Uh, five is mas uh, masculine and feminine, and masculine, feminine, and uh, it's like the embodiment of. Uh, of like magical kind of uh, consciousness on with, with it within yourself um so it's like a merging of the two it's like balance if you can find the balance between the masculine and feminine in energies um you're gonna embody this consciousness six again 
one of them ones that doesn't make a huge amount of sense. But I'll just give my interpretation because six to me is is God, but like God is in whatever your interpretation of God is. And God, they always call the Father, right? But six is a feminine shape, so you know maybe there's some some levels with that one too. I don't know, but my understanding is um, like infinite spirit, like the infinite mind. What what is what I would call it? You know the or the spirit, or the essence, you know, the essence of the universe, the thing that is infinite and is within all of us, you know, but is not us, like it exists within all of us, but is not actually us, um, which I, I, I see that as genderless, you know, um, I don't see that as a, a father, or, you know, I see, I see that as a genderless, um, or a merging of the two genders, yeah, so, six is a bit of a riddle, um, Seven is the uh, lines again. So seven is a is a masculine number, and my understanding of seven is it is the divine paradox. It is the cosmic joke. It is the very like logical kind of um, masculine traits and stuff, and it makes. It's, you have to really think about it, you know, you have to sit and get your thinking head on to work out seven because seven is a really weird number that kind of makes loads of sense but makes no sense whatsoever. Um, seven keeps me up of a night. <laughs> Seven's deep. Um, yeah, so the next number is eight and it is infinity. And, you know, if you think about this, like, women are infinite in their capacity to reproduce but men... We just, we can't have babies, can we? We can't keep having babies or anything, you know. So this, the, although we plant the seed, the women are the ones that keep the, keep the, the, the life flowing infinitely. Um, we kind of come together on it, but yes, you know. So, so yeah. Um, and nine is masculine, feminine, masculine. You know? It depends how you write a nine as well, you know, it could be feminine, completely feminine, if you write the nine like that. But I write a nine like that, so that's how I'm going to interpret it, because you, ha you have to, if you have to interpret things in your own way, right, if you're going to, if you, yeah. So my understanding of nine is just the masculine and feminine, and, and this represents everything. Everything falls under nine, the all, what, what, nothing doesn't fall under it and so my understanding is that it makes sense that it's masculine and feminine so uh um i mean nine has lots of different meanings but in this specific circumstance that's it and ten finally is i've never really been able to work out ten but ten i think this makes a lot of sense is um in a weird way it makes sense because ten is like one the masculine you know the 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 man, the one is man, you know, like, and zero is woman, you know, and it's kind of like the merging of man and woman. I think it probably has something to do with, like, sexuality, you know, like, uh, the coming together, you know, because two is the, the, like, relationship, you know, or, like, uh, marriage or whatever it would be come under two, but I think zero and one is, like, the coming together of, uh, um, man and woman, you know. Um, so yeah, and I, I suppose if you, you know, like, I don't want to be childish here or anything, like, because I'm getting, like, childish thoughts in my head, but if you think of this as the, the penis, and this is the vagina, they kind of go together, right? So, um, that literally just come to me. So, uh, um, yeah, that makes sense. I think it's to do with the, the coming together of man and woman and, like, uh, having babies and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, uh, you know, the, 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 the full embrace and connection the, 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 of masculine and feminine energies. I'm not going to go any further than that because, uh, yeah, I mean, numbers are infinite, right? Be here all day. Um, so I think zero to ten is, is, is enough. Thank you so much for coming along to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. It's just beautiful to um, be able to share stuff and... I love you very much. You're just amazing. You're incredible. So please share this video, like, comment, you know, um, yeah, hit me up if you if you want to chat about something. I try my best to get back to everyone, but it's getting a bit hectic these days, but I'm <laughs> still going to gonna keep trying to sh do it as much as I can. Um, so yes, much love to you. I'll speak to you soon.